the hell is going on with all these demons? Oh, Brenda Sacrifice released a new track. The Demon King is back. Hello everybody, my name is John and today I'm going to be reacting to Brand of Sacrifice Exodus for the very first time. Now, I have reacted to this band before, their songs... Heavy sh their debut album, Live Blood, is a banger after banger kind of an album. Every song is freaking lit and they also draw inspiration from the Berserk manga. It's pretty damn badass. And apparently they have new music planned for this year, so let's start it off with Exodus. Let's destroy our little ear canals. Three, two, one, and go. Also, their videos are freaking uh, high quality. Oh, like the heavy industrial sound that this has it to it. Okay. I, I'm, I'm hearing like squealy sounds like all right I have not reacted to any new deathcore for a while and it's taking its toll so Trying really hard to process this but holy shit. This is an assault on all of my senses at once and I freaking love it. Now. Let's go Oh, this is more of the Kind of straightforward death metal vein right here Bro, clean vocals. Do I remember clean vocals from the previous album? Well, my memory is shit, so I can tell you right now, but I'm not entirely sure if I'm liking that chorus or not. But it's a bold step forward, so let's see what the future brings. I believe the power is in the dreadlocks. I'm liking the melody in the vocals for sure. Oh, and the symphonies are just on point as well. All right, so I saw Kyle doing vocals and another guy as well. So I'm not sure who's doing the lead vocals, you know, the clean vocals in this one. You guys can. Uh, tell me down in the comments below, but, you know, on the second playthrough of the chorus, I'm already liking it more, you know, it has a really nice, you know, hook to it, not like super poppy hook, but, you know, it's enough to, you know, get trilled into your brain and it's like, okay, this deathcore track is different, like, putting clean vocals in deathcore, it's not an easy task. I'm still, like, not 100%, you know, on the side of, wow, this is so amazing, I love that. But I might get there. Let's go. I I'm I'm smelling a breakdown. Oh, that's a nice nasty base. <laughs> yeah. They hit me with a blast. Shit, man.
illegal. Of course. Of course, I'm sorry for stopping right here, but of course they have to finish me off with one less. Yeah. All right, let's move on. Ooh. Oh, I'm really liking this transition that's happening right now. First. I think it's Kyle doing the main vocals and then uh, the bassist or guitarist doing backing vocals. Might be mistaken. Pound those fucking drums. Just like you pound your up. Well, when you see a song title like this, when you see a song titled Exodus, you're like, yeah, right. You don't think it's gonna be like that heavy. Like you think, yeah, they're gonna try, but it's not gonna be as heavy as, you know, the word itself, like Exodus. You think like something grand, massive, and just... <clears throat> I don't know how to explain that in words. <laughs> But oh boy, did these guys deliver on that promise of the word Exodus. That was truly magnificent. That was Brand of Sacrifice, Exodus, and I've said Exodus way too many freaking times, but I love that word, so you're gonna have to deal with more Exoduses on the way. And you know, these guys just mix in everything. You know, in the beginning, I felt like it has this, you know, backdrop, you know, very metallic industrial sound, but you also have the symphonic stuff. On top of that, you have creative riffs and insane drums. Obviously vocals I don't even have. I don't think I need to talk about vocals. These guys really make use of the pauses in the song. You know, they fill the little gap with some electronic schmickty mickty and then they blast your face off with an absolutely gorgeous riff. Also, you know, they do this Veil of My kind of weird guitar fuckery that's going on. I love that when it's used, you know, I've already uh, heard it uh, in my previous reaction, uh, Sleep Token, that I did yesterday. And, you know, both of these bands used it sparingly and used it really well, but when it's overdone, it feels like, you know, you're just trying to fight against your alarm clock in the morning, it's like... <coughs> Even the bass had a little moment to shine and we had a massive massive freaking breakdown that just delivered all the goodies that I need from a great breakdown. All the girthy vocals or the nasty riffs and insane drums. But I think the main point in this song, you know, the main thing that most people will talk about is the chorus with the clean vocals. At first I was like, um, good idea, not sure about the execution. Second chorus I was like, okay, I'm warming up to this a little bit more. And then the third chorus, I was already uh, like, yep, yep, this works. <laughs> so yeah, Brand of Sacrifice absolutely killing it with this new song. There's new stuff coming this year. I know that for a fact. I saw that on their Twitter. So yeah, really looking forward to that. Really looking forward to, you know, where are gonna bring their sound next because this is very exciting for, I believe, the whole deathcore and maybe even metal scene in general because, you know, the things that have been happening with deathcore in the past couple of years have been actually got me into genre because before I couldn't really stand deathcore, but nowadays it's like. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you did enjoy the video and hope you had a great day. And I will see you in the next one. Also, yeah, social medias in the description below. If you want to contact me, you can contact me there. So, yeah, see you next time. Cheers.